Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm gonna be showing you how to fix these broken eyeshadows. Um, you can also use this method for blushes and basically any type of powder product that comes in a pan form like these. So basically what you're gonna need is a few paper towels as I have this one laid out just to kind of keep the area clean. You don't wanna stain your counters or whatever surface that you're working with. Um, actually have another loose paper towel on hand as well so about two or three paper towels depending on how many products you're trying to fix the eyeshadow the blushes or eyeshadows of, of course uh, these that I'm going to be demonstrating today are actually blushes a lot of a lot of you guys have seen videos out there fixing eyeshadows so I'm just showing you a different the same method but a different way of fixing a similar product uh, you're going to need, basically, this next step is going to depend on what exactly you're fixing. For the blushes, any product that you're trying to fix, you're basically going to want to kind of guesstimate the circumference of that surface area. And I'm going to be using about a, a bottle cap, basically something flat and round that's about the same size as the as the product because you're going to be using that to press, compress in that product. So you see how that's about the same size? I just used a bottle cap. And for eyeshadows, the perfect, perfect thing you can use is actually a quarter. It's like just about perfect for eyeshadows, as you can see. So, oh, and you're also going to need 99% rubbing alcohol or whatever content that you have works fine. Um, so let's just get right into it. So the first thing that you're going to do, as you can see, for this blush, it's not... I, I so I had such a retarded moment the other day I was walking had my kit and I dropped it and of course the first thing that's gonna break is the powder products so this is a already broken chipped up blush but for this technique and for this method it's actually gonna work better if you crush it up a little bit more and the idea behind this is if you try to fix it with the pieces all big and chunky like that it's going to be kind of more like a puzzle effect if that's you want to kind of give it more like a mosaic because the smaller the chunks are the more likely they are to stay together versus two or three big giant chunks trying to mesh together it just doesn't it doesn't hold as well when you try to fix with this method so take whatever you can I'm using some tweezers and kind of break it up a little bit more chunk it up and just really break it up and I'm gonna do the same for this eyeshadow too excuse me for this blush just get any of those big chunks out and really, really break it up. And don't be afraid to really break it up. It's not going to harm the product at all. If anything, it's going to help it. The reason why I'm doing this again was because I've, I've, these are broken shadows that I'm fixing for a second time because the first time I failed to do this and now I'm showing you my mistake so that you don't make this mistake and have your shadows and blushes breaking up all over again so basically get that as broken up as much as you can so when you look at them they look just about like that they're very very broken up now and you can break them up more as much as you can but for now, I'm going to say that that is fine. You're going to take a capful of your rubbing alcohol. Or you may you may or may not need a capful. That all depends entirely on the size of the product. And you're going to just go ahead and submerge it. Basically get all of the surface area covered in alcohol. You don't want it to be like dripping, pouring over the pan. But basically enough to cover the entire surface area of the blush or the shadow, whatever you're working with. After that, I'm going to take my bottle cap and I'm actually going to put it inside the paper towel and then fold it up. So now you have the bottle cap like this. Just like that. And then I'm going to take that bottle cap on top of the shadow and squeeze down push down as much as you can try to get all that alcohol out and press down as hard as you can and then you'll have that it's gonna be a little messy around the edges you can either scoop that out and put that back in the pan 
or you can do away with it, toss it, whatever you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and just scoop out the edges and just put it back in the pan and then repress so that it'll dry like that. And just a helpful tip guys, the higher content of alcohol you use for this technique, the shorter drying time that you have. These will actually be dry in a couple hours at the most and be ready for use. And you'll know when they're dry. You'll know when they're completely dry. So here you go. Let's try the second one. I'm going to give it a cap full. Really submerge that blush. Then I'm going to use a, a clean a clean side of the paper towel and the bottle cap. And the reason that you use the paper towel is you don't want to stain, obviously, whatever product you're using. And when you use the paper towel, the little quilt, the quilted pattern of the paper towel actually gives the blush a nice little, a nice little quilted um, surface. Just as if you were to buy the blush or eyeshadow brand new, you get that nice little pattern effect on the top of it when it dries. I'm going to go ahead and scoop in that extra in there. Told you guys, this does get a little messy sometimes. More so with blushes and bigger surface items than eyeshadows. With eyeshadows, I don't get this much mess, but really press down. Really press down. And then wipe off the surface if you need to. And there you go. So we're going to give these two blushes about um, six hours to dry. Let's see what they look like in six hours. I usually do this overnight so that by the time I wake up and I'm ready to use my kit, my blushes or my eyeshadows are ready for use. So that is pretty much the tutorial. I hope you guys find this helpful. Um, won't be doing the shadow because as you can see the shadow is just fine. But that was just for demonstrational purposes. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.